Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're starting off the day by putting up my plant shelves. So I heavily considered leaving this in the other vlog, last week's vlog, but it just kind of felt wrong to put the final product in my vlog channel video when these shelves are being sent to me to showcase in my main channel. So I just figured I'd wait a week. So yeah. And if you didn't already see the result, it's on my main channel already styled, but yeah, we're going to put it up today and I'm super excited, a little nervous as well, but this wall is making it very easy for me because there are 18, nine plus nine is 18, right? There are 19 planks on this wall, which means there's a perfect center point. All this to say, I hope that this is going to be an easy situation. I would like to use my laser level, although I have no idea where it is, but that was kind of what I was envisioning for this. <laughs> I think you'd make it a lot easier but I think that it would take me longer to find it than it's worth it. So I think what I'm gonna do is put up the first one, like the middle first one, and then I was thinking of doing the second middle one and then the third middle one so that I know that I just need to align them on the opposite sides. I just feel like that would be the easiest way to do this. Okay, I was actually able to find the laser level. It was not as hard as I thought. It was literally just in our toolbox where it should be. And I've set it up on the center line here. Actually, it's slightly off. Let's fix that just ever so slightly. And I made a very small, Daniel, you're literally standing in front of the camera. Like it's right there. Like you were literally standing in the camera. I also made a very small, will be undetectable mark on the back of the center of this wood. I just like to mark the center of everything that I'm hanging so that I can just line up the centers. So now I just need to figure out like how high I want to actually put this because I'm only doing too high, like right there. Cause I don't want it to be so high that I can't like reach it, you know? So I think that will be good actually. And you know what? Do you guys remember when I mentioned those third arm tools? I'm gonna go get them. Are you recording? Was I in the way again? I don't know. I wasn't looking. Probably. See, the problem actually with using these is that it relies on the floor being even. And as I've mentioned before, the floor here is not even because it is a patio. So it needs to slope away from the house. So I just asked Daniel to go get me my laser, not laser, my actual level so that I can make sure that this is level because it's a little hard to see with the laser situation. I think this is pretty good. I lifted this one up slightly higher, but this is not where it's actually going to be. It's going to be up more. What are you laughing at? Oh, what the heck? Ouch. I think it stopped recording either right before or after we put this up, but the tape work did the trick and it's perfect, perfectly level. So now we need to just put the one underneath it right here. So we're gonna do the tape trick again. Where's the tape? Oh.
super good. Like very, very good. I'm very proud of this. It actually wasn't that hard once we figured out like the template system. So I would highly suggest doing that. And you just gotta be patient because you want it to be super accurate. But honestly, if it's not the most accurate, you can choose to put something that dangles because there are definitely some spots on here that are not perfect, but also this wall, I was noticing some of the siding comes out a little bit more than others. So that just kind of affects how it, I don't know, how it sits. So they're up and they're beautiful and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Good evening. I have a very bright light facing me because I'm sick of my lighting being terrible in these videos. So Nora is asleep now and we assembled all of these baskets together earlier we had a lot of fun pulling off the stickers and all of that and now i just need to organize my stuff i'm thinking about doing each color a different category so when i'm looking at my stuff in this cabinet i have paint and like fine art stuff i have felt which is not going to fit in these so i need to figure out a solution for that i have yarn which is also not going to fit in these and then i have like hot glue and just like random stationery and stuff and then my cricket stuff which majority will not fit in these <laughs> a theme and then all of the stuff in here which is already pretty sequestered um so i want to do like a sewing shelf and then like everything else shelf. I accidentally got like Halloween colors. I have orange, red, green, sorry. I have orange, purple, green, and beige, which is beige is not Halloween, but yeah, my Halloween candy crates. I did also order four pink ones, but I think they were like back ordered or something. They didn't have enough stock. So they ended up refunding me for those which like I might still, like after I figure all of this out, I might still go to the store and see if I can find more, like maybe bigger ones that aren't longer than this because this length is actually the perfect length for this cabinet. Um, but maybe I could like turn them to the side. I don't really know. I need to figure that out, but I just wanna see what I can fit in these. And also I realized that these can stack like three high in here. Well, I could like stack them more or less, honestly, just depending on how I figure out how I wanna organize the billy shelves. But yeah, like I can do a lot. And I do like the idea of using these crates because it's a small amount of stuff. And I was a little bit like hesitating about this plan again once I got them and saw how small they are. But then I realized this is actually a good thing because number one, it keeps me from having like a ton of stuff that I don't need. And number two, it's easy to see what's in this. And as I mentioned in a couple of videos ago, your girl has ADHD and I lose things all the time. Even when I have systems, I still lose things if it's like at the bottom of something. So I just need to be like very clear about what's in what. I'm going to put the fine art stuff, like the paint in orange and also my paintbrushes and just anything that's considered fine art in here. Ooh, they fit these small paint things perfectly, but not the tall ones. <laughs>
stopping point. I'm going to make myself stop here. Also, I'm kind of at an impasse because I realized I can fit like a lot of these crates. And to be honest, I would rather have more crates, less full, and also have things like separated out in a way that makes sense to my brain because like this looks good. Like this looks fine. I like the colors. Um, yeah, I think as long as I'm able to label everything, it's actually very helpful to have everything kind of separated out. And this is like itching my brain, itching a certain part of my brain that really craves organization and systems, but has a really hard time implementing them. And to me, this feels doable. I definitely need a lot more of the sewing ones. Like I'm probably gonna buy four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe eight more of the sewing ones. I don't really know. Just to fill up this entire section with the sewing stuff and I can stack it three high for like all of these sections, except for the top one, which the top I'm doing more like personal slash stationary photo printing, uh, just kind of stuff like that. I, I will probably also put my camera lenses and like my camera gear in one of these crates because my camera gear is literally just like floating around and it's very stressful. I never know where anything is and I feel like the cream section is just like my personal things. And then green is fiber art. Orange is like fine art slash crafting. Purple is sewing. I will probably be getting also more of the green ones because I have all of this yarn and also belt and some wool, <laughs> some ro ro what is it called? Roving wool, I think. Um, I don't know how exactly I'm gonna do the felt because I would like it to be in a crate, but maybe if I can find a bigger crate that will not exceed the 10 inch width of the shelf. I will have to see maybe they have a big one that is like 10 inches wide. I feel really good about this. Like honestly, this is the best I felt about my craft stuff in a really long time. And like the better part of this is that these crates were only like $1.50 each. So it feels like I'm getting like a really great organization system without having to spend so much money, which is usually what you have to do if you want like a really good system that like looks good and is cohesive. Um, but yeah, having it color coded, having individual shelves for everything. I love it. I'm, I'm feeling really, really good about this. The bottom section, oh, that's where that other one went. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I might just get like a one-off color for the Cricut section because I only have so much Cricut stuff. I don't need a ton of room for it, but I have all my Cricut stuff at the bottom. I imagine I'm only gonna have like four, sh four of these shelves taken up by the crates. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest. I do have some stuff in my sewing cabinet that I could possibly put over here if things are a little bit better organized. But I'm really excited because I'm gonna be able to sell these um, roller carts. They're in great condition. Like obviously I've used them only for I guess probably a year and a half I've had them, but honestly, it wasn't working, especially with Nora. She was getting into them a lot, so I need things to be put away, <laughs> just like this. So anyway, I'm gonna go to bed, probably have another projector screen moment in my room. You guys, I'm loving that setup, it's incredible. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. I have not filmed at all today because I have just been crying on and off <laughs> all day. Nora had her first day of daycare yesterday. I don't think that I mentioned that, but yeah, she had her first day yesterday back and she's been with me since we moved, which has been like almost two months. <sighs> and I'm just feeling really sad. Um, I think like the most pervasive feeling is just like, she is just a lot happier when she's with us. Like obviously daycare is a really great solution and she does really well there after a while, but the transition period is just really hard. Like the first time we took her to daycare, she was seven months and it took like, one of my plants just fell over. It took like, I don't know, a month or two for her to adjust, which I guess is normal. Like all of these things are normal. It just makes me question like if we're doing the right thing. And like, of course it's nice to do things and like be able to get stuff done, but I just miss her a lot. And it's just been a really sad day, honestly. Like I just feel sad. Yesterday I kind of was distracted because Daniel was off of work, but today it's just me at home and 
it's just super lonely. That has honestly been a lot of my day, but I was able to unpack some boxes, which has been, you know, a hard thing to do with Nora around because she just, you know, you want to give them your full attention. But I've just been kind of tinkering around in the plant room this morning. I like honestly haven't even wanted to film because I've literally been crying and like that would be so awkward to have to explain. <laughs> it just kind of sucks that like it has to happen so that I can work like I can't work when she's here really. So yeah, I'm just trying to keep busy, but I think I'm going to make myself a chai and I'm probably going to just do editing today, like on the computer, just mostly computer stuff. But I wanted to get this room like slightly more orderly before I left it for another day because it just was really bad and I just I need a better idea of what things are going to look like so that I can continue like designing in my mind the room but the shelf I'll show it to you now that I've styled it it's not like finished being styled because I have more books that I would want to put up here and I don't know, I'm sure that I'll find things that feel really cute to put up here. I was also thinking of putting like stacks of empty pots and stuff like that. And I just popped the rug in the washer. We've needed to wash it since before we moved because it was really smelly. And we're doing that now, or I'm doing that now. So anyway, I just wanted to pop in and just share a vulnerable moment because I don't know, it might, like obviously I do a lot of things and like whatever, but at the end of the day, like I am a mom. <laughs> I love hanging out with Nora and it's so hard to be away from her, you know, even if I'm doing fun things. So right now I don't want her to be in daycare. Like I was excited for this all of the weeks leading up, just thinking about all the things that I could get done. But now that she's there and we kind of like made a routine for ourselves here, it just makes me kind of sad. It just feels empty, you know? But anyway, since I think this is gonna be my whole day, I'm just gonna focus on other things. So I will see you guys another day. <laughs> I'm unlocking another filming spot in the house. This is in front of my bathtub. I'm, my feet are in my bathtub right now. But I just got a pros package. I've been skipping my pros the last couple of months because I got super behind for some reason on conditioner. So I just kept pausing it until I caught up. <laughs> but if you guys didn't know, I have been using Pros since 2020. This is not sponsored like in any way, shape or form. But the only reason I'm bringing it up is because I opened my package and the bottles are shaped differently. And I was like, wait a minute, what's this? So it's the same amount of liquid, I think eight and a half ounces. Yeah, eight and a half ounces, but it's just, I guess, skinnier. And to be honest, I love the way this looks a lot. As you can see, it says my name on it. On the back, it has just information about the scent that I chose. I was using the same scent for like months and months and months because I kept forgetting to go in and edit. And I guess the scent that I had was like one of their core collection scents. Ooh, okay. So this one is the, this one is the Corsica fragrance. And I have had this one before. It smells really good, like super, super good. I don't remember what the notes are, but anyway, I wanted to just show it because we have new packaging. We've unlocked new packaging and I also got some new pumps, which I'm kind of glad for because my old pumps were getting a little bit gross. I don't know if I could even use my old pumps technically. Oh, I could. Okay, well, they were just getting kind of ugly and gross and these new ones don't have any ribbing on the sides. So soap won't get like stuck in it. Look at the difference between the old and the new. <laughs> Um, soap won't get stuck in the ridges there. So that's nice. Anyway, I also wanted to update on the clip earlier because I really hate to leave, <laughs> leave you guys in me feeling like that. Like, I don't know. I just wanted to quickly update that she had a good day at daycare today. And though I was like really, really sad, I was able to get some editing done, get, I mean, I wasn't as productive today, but like, like work-wise, like but I was able to be more productive on a personal level, like unboxing more stuff and just kind of swapping, starting the process of swapping over our closets for winter. So she's actually in a much better mood today when she got home. So that makes me feel a lot better because honestly, the last thing I want is for her to be like so upset and traumatized by daycare that it carries over into her having just bad days at home too. First day is always gonna be rough, but I think we're gonna be okay. Honestly, my only qualm with pros 
is I wish that they had glass bottles. Like I wish they had the option of sending back our glass bottles. That's like the only thing that I don't like about it, but otherwise it's literally perfect. I love pros. My hair is in great condition. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, but I just really love the way that my hair feels when I use it. And yeah, I just really love it. So, I mean, if you guys are ever interested in checking out pros, I have a affiliate link that is just, they give it to everybody. It's not like I am affiliated with them. I'll put it in the description box. I think you get like $15 off your first purchase or something like that. And to me, it is worth it. I don't do many beauty things for myself. Like I'm not getting my nails done regularly. I'm not getting my hair done regularly. I don't have like expenses like that. So it does feel worth it to me to buy nice custom um, shampoo and conditioner. So anyway, if you're similar to me and you don't incur those types of expenses and you feel like you can justify it, I would highly recommend. I think it's really nice. I also wanted to quickly mention that last night I ordered some more of the crates for the craft room. So hopefully in this video, I will be able to finish that. It's definitely going to be an ongoing thing. Like I'm not expecting it for it to be the final product within this video or even the next, but it's going to evolve. But I just wanted to have at least all of the crates that I want to buy there just in case like at some point they discontinue a color or something that would really suck. But yeah, I'm also thinking about like, can I integrate these crates into other parts of my life? But actually I need to chill because that is also the ADHD in me that is like, okay, this thing works. Like let's buy all of it. Let's buy like a hundred of them. The extreme the extreme part of my brain where it's like, oh, this works, let's do it everywhere. Um, which honestly I might do, but I'm gonna just like pump the brakes and like chill for a second because I also really wanna implement an organization system in my bathroom stuff because I don't feel like I have a lot of bathroom stuff, but some might say I do, Daniel. <laughs> but I feel like I have a normal amount for a woman. Like we have our hair stuff, we've got our skin stuff. I don't know, hair, did I already say hair stuff? Probably. We've got our stuff. <laughs>
home and I want to show you what I got because there was some pretty good deals. First of all, in the plant stand genre, I found this. We saw me looking at it in the antique mall clips. It was $55, which was a little more than I wanted to spend. I was hoping for like a little stool, which I did find some stools, but they just weren't singing to me as much as this one is. And I just love going with the theme of rattan furniture for this room. So this is gonna go, I think right here, but we will confirm that later. Also, I did pick up a little witch hat and I put it on the ghost that I have on my front porch. I also need to cut out some um, felt eyes and a mouth so that it actually looks like a ghost rather than just like a sheet thing. I think the hat makes it look a lot more like a ghost, so that's good. At Goodwill, I found five of these paper bag, like they're ceramic paper bag jack-o'-lanterns and they are so cute. They have a little spot where you can put a little tea light. I do need to get some tea lights, like some battery operated tea lights because I have a few things around that I would want to put them in, but particularly these ones, but I can actually just put real tea lights in them because I have real tea lights. I might just do that, I don't know. But I did put two of these on the shelves. There's another one up here. Um, and then I put the other one here. And I think they're so cute. I have three more and they're gonna go on my dining room table when I style that for fall, which I haven't done quite yet. And then at the thrift store, the first thrift store I went to, I found this. This is huge. It's like a 15 inch plant stand and everything that I got from this thrift store totaled $8.99 or something like that. And I got this basket and I got two hardcover books and this pot. I just did a bunch of repotting and I need more like large pots like that. So I actually don't know how much this ended up costing. I think it was like $4.99 or something like that. And then I got this um, big book of quilt blocks book. I think that quilt books are so beautiful and I have a couple that I really want to look through and actually make one of the quilts in here. But I liked this one because it teaches you how to make specific quilt blocks. And a lot of these I've never even really thought to make. It also has like really cute monthly quilt blocks. So for the month of April, it's the tulip. For the month of March, it's, I think this is like an Irish chain, which is fitting for St. Patrick's Day. And then we have February, these hearts. I don't know, I just thought that it's really cute and cool to learn how to make all of these quilt blocks because you know you can use usually a lot of quilts that people make nowadays have just one type of quilt block with like different colors perhaps you can kind of do a bunch of different quilt blocks and put them on a quilt like this month by month quilt you would have 12 oh you'd have 12 blocks each block representing a different month let me see if there's a picture of this quilt like all together as an example. Oh yeah, look, January, February, March, April, May, June, and so on. I think that's really cute. Anyway, that's one quilt that they have, but there's a lot of like ideas. Anyway, I was really excited by it and I thought that it was super cool. I think that's all I got. I was also looking for a jacket for Nora, but I couldn't find anything. I'm looking for just like a kind of light, zipper hoodie. I might just get it new because I haven't exactly been able to find it. I would like to venture over to Old Navy. I get a lot of her stuff from Old Navy if I'm not getting it from like Once Upon a Child um, because well, where we used to live, Old Navy was pretty accessible to us. Anyway, I'm going to switch over to my main channel, like filming for my main channel because I have some plant room stuff to do. And yeah, I'll check in with you when I'm done.
Okay, my friends, we have the first final iteration of the craft plant room, good craft playroom. I can work in here while Nora's at daycare and then when she comes home, it can transform into a play space. We have the rug from her nursery actually. I put it in here because it kept getting bunched up under her crib and she has carpet in her bedroom anyway, so I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. We have her pickler climber, which she does not show a lot of interest in at this point. Like she climbs on it sometimes, but maybe it'll be something for her when she gets older. We got it because she really likes to climb, but just not on this. She likes to climb on everything else. <laughs> and then her cube shelves with the toys. I really do think I'm going to get some of those Benji bookshelves from Nathan James, um, two of them and put them here instead because I just like the way they look more. This thing is really wobbly, although it works fine, so it's not like a big rush to get the other shelves. Also in this corner, I really would like to put a little corner bookshelf. I saw those big leaf things on Ikea, and I think it'd be kind of cute to make it look like a tree, the bookshelf look like a tree, and then have the leaves coming out and then like make a cute little area down here. We'll see. I really wanna create a little reading corner though, whether it be in here or in her room. Now inside of these cabinets, this one I really didn't change from the initial. So I have my serger, I have all my scraps. This is all sewing scraps that I need to do something with. I mean, it's not that many scraps compared to a lot of people out there, but I feel like it's so many and I really do not want to have that many. Sewing machine, like my regular machine, and then this is just some random stuff. Honestly, that little section is not very organized. I have bulky fabric, like this is like a 14 yard section that I really need to do something with it. And then these are like the fluffy fabric that takes up so much space. And then I have some fabric here. I have all my patterns in these two. This has been the easiest way that I have found to store my patterns, although I would prefer to have them hung up, but it just, this honestly works. Maybe someday I could like hang a rod from here to here and like hang them, but I just feel like that would look messy and I don't mind digging through this, like it's not a big deal. Um, more fabric, obviously this is all quilt batting that I'm hopefully going to be using this, um, in the coming weeks, really, I'm gonna, I really, really like to make a quilt. And then more fabric up there. I put my old sewing machine up there, and I think it would be kind of cool to put it up there without the case, like as a decoration, maybe. I don't know. It's not like a super beautiful, like ornate vintage sewing machine, but it is the sewing machine that like I learned to sew on. I think my mom learned to sew on it. So it was my grandma's and it's really special to our family. So I don't want to give it away, but I also don't know what to do with it. So let me know if you think I should put it up there. The desk currently, this is a flexi spot standing desk and it moves up or down. Like you can also do presets, it's really nice. I really do recommend this desk. It's gorgeous and it's held up really well. I've had it for a couple years now. And I have my scales. Also there's a drawer here that I just put some random stuff in, some hard drives. And I have all of these that I used to use for my craft storage. And I don't know what to do with them now. I might use them for my junk drawer, that would help. Printer, I don't want to get rid of this rolling cart because I kind of like the idea of securing this ironing board to it, but I really wish that it would slide into here, but it's literally just slightly too big. <laughs> and I can't exactly move the belly over because it's drilled into the wall. I guess I could undo the screw real quick and do that, but it's just like, less than an inch. It's like a quarter inch too narrow and then otherwise it would fit perfect. So that is my plan in the end. And then I don't know what else I would put in here, but if you've ever seen people do that online, it's really nice. And then I have just random stuff up here that I have not decided what to do with yet, like boxes, a record player, and then more decor and rulers. And that's a big camera gear bag. Yeah, just like more stuff that I don't exactly have a place for right now. For the rulers, I think I'm going to put command hooks on the interior, like on this side of the, on the side of my Billy bookcase. Just because, I don't know, that just seems like a good, like out of the way spot and it's nice to have them hung up because I don't have room in here to put them, which like you guys, this is so 
nice. Like I wanna say it's bougie, but it's not because this stuff really was not that expensive. I had these motion lights actually from our wedding and I've never had a use for them and I figured you know, when I'm rummaging through. Finding all of my things that would be helpful. Sorry, it's flickering because it's an LED. But yeah, so let me go top to bottom. So at the top, I have the cream color and this is like my personal stuff. Like, let's say like office supplies, if that's a thing. I have my phone cases, notebooks and paper pads, staplers and like push pins. I have my camera gear here. This one has just a random, random stuff for a DIY and because it was empty, so I just put it in that for right now. Our photo printer and then some stamps and like stationery for sending stuff in the mail. Next, we have the green section, which is like the fiber art. So actually this should not be in there then, but this is kind of like my, I don't know what to do with this stuff bin because I have these wood half circles left over from a DIY I did for Nora's room. What else is in here? Oh, my light for, my light for cross stitching and then glitter. Like I don't, I guess I could put the glitter with the paint. Like that works pretty well. But yeah, I don't know what to do with these wood circles. I need to find a DIY to use them up because I don't want to store them anymore. Uh, I've got my embroidery and cross stitch stuff. Ton of knitting and crochet needles, ribbon and string. And then I have like knitting and crochet books in reference over on this side. And then this is the more like fine art stuff. So colored pencils and markers, watercolor palettes and brushes, glue. I have so much glue for some reason and paint. And then this is scrapbook paper, which once I start doing Nora's uh, baby book, I probably will have more scrapbook-ish things. So I might be able to make like another category down here or maybe move this one down. But yeah, that's a whole other element <laughs> that I have not entered into yet. And then this is all of my sewing supplies. So I've really, really refined this. So it's very specific of what's in each bin. Like it, it might feel kind of excessive, but for me, this is really helpful. So I have all of my pins in here. I have elastic, thread, cutting materials, tools like seam rippers, my tape. I did not have a place for this quilting glue, so I just put it in here. I mean, it doesn't exactly go with tools, but it's fine. Labels and bias tape, finishings like button, hook and eye, and stuff like that. And then this is just a small work in progress section. I didn't have anything for this bin, so I just put that in there. This right here is a little random, but if you are getting the Billy bookcases and you don't wanna have a ton of these little ones, these yellow ones, this is the large size, they fit two across. And I mean, however many you want up, because they're the same height as these ones. So this one has all my yarn. This one has all my felt and the felt patterns. Thankfully, I was able to fit that in there. There's a big chunk of white felt. I don't remember why I have this. I think maybe it was like snow for a, a town. I don't, I don't even know why I have so much white. This is kind of a random bin. It has macrame cord, some hand, um, hand quilting string, and then some felting wool, and then this has a um, knitting work in progress. So I have like six skeins of yarn in that because it's just a big cardigan. This is a, what are those things called that you write with? <laughs> they have a name, anyway. Pencils, pens, and markers. I just have that. I've had this thing since college, I think. Like I've had that forever. So I have some patterns that I haven't cut out yet, which I just shoved them in here because I didn't want them just loose. And then this is polyfill way too big of a bag. Why do I have this much? And then down here is my Cricut stuff. I got this green box for my Cricut and I imagine that if and when I start a little scrapbooking collection, I will choose this color, this sage green color. It's really cute. And then my Cricut. I have the Cricut maker and I really love it. And then all of this is home decor and books that I have not used yet. I just kind of stashed it right here. I feel so happy that I did what I did like in the organization it just feels so good to have everything have a place and just have like a sense of organization a sense of purpose for all of my items just feels really good I was also able to throw away a lot of things that like I've been holding on to for no reason crafters tend to do stuff like that <laughs> we just hold on to things because we'll use it eventually 
but eventually never comes for a lot of items and we just keep holding on to it. And a lot of the stuff is not expensive to rebuy if we do happen to ever need it again. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog and are looking forward to next week. Next week's vlog is going to be interesting because like I said, Daniel's on a work trip this week and it's just me and Nora. So let's see if we can make it. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.